Hello, everybody, and welcome back for some weekly VR news. As always, I'm Mateo311, and this is your channel for everything VR related. So today, we're going to do things a little bit different than normal. This is going to be more of a talking head video. I apologize, but I'm currently on vacation, and I'm shooting this way in advance. I just wanted to take an opportunity to talk to my community and thank you guys. But I will have this week's release schedule and a bit of news, but... I can't be super up to date because like I said, I'm shooting this way in advance. Now there are of course links and timestamps if you want to skip ahead, but before we jump in, this video is brought to you by my sponsor, Kiwi Design. Kiwi has accessories for all of your favorite headsets and they finally started releasing some new products for the Quest 3. On screen, we have their brand new extra comfy Quest 3 Elite Strap. I've been using head straps from Kiwi for years now and they're hands down my favorite. There's a link to Kiwi down in the description and don't forget to use discount code Mateo311 for 5% off and to help support my channel. Okay, so let's forego the normal check-in and just move right into this week's new releases, starting with Black Trail. In the midst of an epic war, you're going to be taking on the role of a bounty hunter and a vengeful Native American warrior. Their two separate stories will eventually intertwine as everyone's fighting over and chasing down artifacts that could change the overall fate of the war. This story-driven experience features both narrated cutscenes and an array of unique gameplay mechanics. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of the Wild Wild West, but I gotta say this game is looking pretty darn good. But to once again move away from the blood and guts, we have Toy Monsters. Now, the best way to describe this game is a made-for-VR version of Plants vs. Zombies, but if you've never played that game, this is basically a tabletop tower defense title. You'll need to strategically deploy different weapons and power-ups to fend off a horde of oncoming monsters. Now, I personally love this style of game, so I'll definitely be playing this and I'm happy to see it's getting both a mixed reality mode and hand tracking. So for the Plants vs. Zombies fans like myself, it's going to feel like you're actually playing that game in 3D on your own personal table. And since we're discussing tabletop experiences, let's move on to the player release of Dungeon Full Dive. Now, if you're not familiar with Dungeon Full Dive, it's an application that allows you to create tabletop role-playing experiences, and it also has the unique feature of exploring those worlds in first-person view or isometrically as you would a real tabletop game board. Now, the game has been separated into both the Player and Dungeon Master Edition, so players can jump in and experience the title for free. But if you want to be a GM and build some worlds, you'll have to pay for that separately. Now, if you want to stick to more typical experiences, we have the 4v4 PvP shooter Strike Rush. Strike Rush will drop you into a post-apocalyptic world where you get to utilize some AI robots in combat. Now, there's currently four separate stages and even four single-player maps if PvP isn't your style. But I do have to say what I did see of this game in its recent beta was looking pretty rough. Hopefully they did have some time to clean it up because I do enjoy team-based shooters. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Similar to our next title, Umurangi Generation. I think I said that right. This is a really weird looking photography title. It was originally a flat screen game that has been rebuilt for VR and it takes place in a really crappy future where you go around spraying graffiti and taking pictures. You'll eventually unlock new lenses and other equipment, but I have to say, I really have no idea what the overall gameplay is like. Okay, so before I get all mushy on you guys, I do have a few more updates. The first one is for Demio Battles. This is the absolutely fantastic PvP tabletop experience that you could play in 1v1 or 2v2. And unlike Demio, which takes like three hours, this is a much smaller experience and games are normally like under 15 minutes. I absolutely love it. There's now a ranked mode. So if you're playing it and want more competition, go check it out. We got a surprise update for After the Fall version 1.9 is here. There's new horde maps, new weapons, you name it. I saw some people recently complaining. Wow, you know, is After the Fall dead? We haven't seen an update. Boom, out of nowhere, Vertigo Game surprises us. It's one of my favorite VR co-op games. It's pretty much VR's Left 4 Dead. And surprisingly, anytime I jump in there, there's always people playing. So good on you, Vertigo Games. I'm glad to see more updates. It's time to jump back into After the Fall. And the last little bit of news that I was able to scrape up before I left for vacation is the fact that version 64 of the Quest is coming and it looks to be significantly improving pass-through. Now, I've seen some people who are on the PTC channel, the public test channel, who have tested it and say yes the improvements are amazing it's not grainy anymore now my overall experience with pass through is is actually strange because sometimes i think it looks really good on the quest 3 definitely better than the quest pro and other times yeah it's just overall inconsistent i think it's very sensitive to lighting or whatever the case may be 
and I actually have two different quest threes in the background, if you can see them, and I get a slightly different pass through experience on each headset. So I don't know what's going on there. I would love to see how much better it is with the new firmware, but unfortunately I don't have time to test it. And now let's get to the final topic, why there's no real news here, because I just want to talk to you guys and say thank you so much for letting me do this as my full-time job. If you guys didn't know, I became a full-time content creator a little bit over a year ago, and it wouldn't be possible without you guys. I love what I do. I'm at 75,000 subscribers now, just under, right around there. And it's amazing. I, I never expected this. I didn't make a channel wanting to be a content creator or a YouTuber, influencer, or any of that. This was just a outlet. You know, it's a creative outlet for me, a way to meet new people, make more friends who share the same interests as me. And it's been fantastic. All the other VR content creators out there like Reese, Steve Knows, Gamertech, Beardo, uh, Soul Fox, uh, Tech Man, all you guys, I feel bad like I'm missing somebody. Uh, Eric for president, even though it doesn't create content anymore. You guys are absolutely amazing. You have made being in VR just extra special, but I really got to thank above all else, you know, all the fans, all the people who watch the videos, even the people who disagree with me, that's completely okay. I need someone to keep me in check. Thank you guys. Making videos has been fantastic. I'm very receptive to your feedback, even if you, you know, might not believe it. If you think this is always a one-sided conversation and I come off too hot. No, that's not me. I'm very open-minded. And I think from now on, which went really well, is I'm going to ask you guys what game you want reviewed because I can't cover four games in a week. I could usually only cover one. So I'll ask you guys what game you want reviewed, and that's what we'll do. If there's any other comments, questions, feedback, please drop them now. You don't understand like how much that stuff really helps the channel, the thumbs up, the comments, the subscribing. I mean, that makes the YouTube channel grow. Uh, I'm never asking for people to join Patreon or any other funding. I'm doing okay, just as is. If you want to go above and beyond, that's amazing. I appreciate it. But really, this, a comment, subscription, watching the videos, that that's amazing. That's really all I need from you guys. But thank you so much for everyone who goes above and beyond. Uh, everyone who's here, even the people who don't always agree with me. That's, like I said, 100% cool. That was my ramble. I just wanted to, you know, get that out there, say thank you guys. And if you're thinking of robbing my house while I'm on vacation, well, good luck with that. Someone is actively house sitting and I have a good security system. So, mm. all right. If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. Thumbs up. I'll see you guys on next time.